On the right stage. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so people, full time. Um, we're going to hear from the, the man of the match. We're also going to hear from the coaches listening. First of all, we're going to go to the man of the match. Let's see, let, let's see what he has to say. Um, for the record, say him. My name is Asher Hutchins. Asher Hutchins, you come up big regarding a couple of times for, for your Hornet team um, to ensure that they get this valuable three points. Tell us how you feel regarding picking up the player of, of, of this first round. Um, I'm feeling good. I'm in a bit of pain because of some of the saves, but we had to get back in winning ways. And, 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 and you seem like you, 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 you want to stay permanently in this goal for, for the Arne team. Tell us about that. Yes, that's one of my goals. Tell me, tell me some more. Um, Arne God is more than just a club. We are a community and we had to prove to the fans that we are capable. And, 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 and you, how pleased are you with how you, know, you have been executed over the last few years in between the sticks? Um, it's all a learning process. We get better each day. We learn. Some we lose, some we learn from. Yeah. Alright, respect. All right, I was just here from the man of the match. We're gonna hear what the coaches have to say about how the team um, um, carry out their, their, their each task or each um, match plan. So let's see what the coaches have to say. First, um, it, it said the ball is round, and if you don't take a chance, it come back to haunt you. Uh, and it went your way today regarding getting the ball in the back of the net. Yeah. And important victory. Tell us about it. I mean, I'm happy that we won. Um, it was a tough game. I have to give credit to Dom Dolan. I mean, they really put us under pressure, especially in, this, in, in the first half, you know. I was glad for the half-time break to at least start to the team. And, and um, I think we, I, I didn't think we started the game how we said that we were going to play them. And they came at us. And we, we struggled to, to, to manage their rotation and what they were doing. You know, um, they pull us out of position and, 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 and slice us um, down the middle. Um, second half, we were a little bit better. Um, but they, they continue to, to, to trade the blows at us. Um, and I mean, I'm happy that we, got, we managed to, to got, get the three points today. You know, um, they did well. Um, and it's just a, a game where we managed to, to score our opportunity and they didn't. And to have Trader, Trader Reed back, um, he knows how to get those goals. He really to those goals. Right? He must be happy that he's been able to step in and fill that reach, that void. Uh, that, that, yeah, I mean we know we know the player is. He's not just um, he's also a leader. So you know his his presence alone um, and experience, you know, is a is a huge plus for us. And we know what he can do. And and, and that's what that's important. That's how we want to play to make sure that when we we, we get our opportunities, we are closer to the goal in the middle where he, he'll get the opportunity to score. Last question. Um, senior keeper is out. Youngster coming in the goal. Brilliant performance. What's your assessment of his performance? Yeah, I mean, it was it was good. He kept us in the game on, on a couple of occasions, and we have to we have to give him credit. You know, um, he did extremely well um, under pressure, and, um, and I think those things made a difference tonight. And finally, your first round in the in the club. How has things gone over over the rounds regarding management wise and players wise and so on? Tell us about it. I mean, it's, it's, it's always pressuring. At this level in general, it's always pressuring. And um, we know Arnett Garden love, love, um, love their football and of course. Um, but so far, the management has been very supportive, to, to be honest. Um, and we, we're working together to make sure that we, we, we build the club and um, develop the players and, and, and um, meet the objective and the vision of the club. So no major issue regarding uh, money? No, 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 no. no. Not, not, well, not that I know. No, you know. I mean, I think we have a very good working relationship <laughs> that has been going on unless something pop up that I'm not aware of. <laughs> All right, big up, Jeva Gilbert. <laughs> okay. so if you don't take a chance, you'll come back to Orange Hill. Um, you should have won this game comfortably. Um, you must feel disappointed in not getting something from this game. Yeah, man, definitely. Um, we created some chances. I saw some movement on the pitch that we were practicing. They are learning, they are improving, but you know, we still are give up goal. That's the most important thing that we're not doing. We, we've stopped giving up the goal. You know, we're not defending well, and it's a chance we got. And then the transition game caught us and then score a goal. But 
can't knock them, you know. We, we have to continue work, we have to continue work in front of the goal. Continue to build that spirit there in the camp that you need, you know. Sometimes it's not on the field, you win the game, it's off the field, and we need to work on that aspect of our game and our team, you know. You say you want to strengthen your, your camp? Um, looking Definitely, for yeah, man. Yeah, with the youths, them going away tomorrow. I'm going with them to the Casa tournament in Miami. So after that, everybody will be in the, the, the team and we, we strengthen the team and, and try and come better. Looking for any major signing to really give you the lift that you want? And well, we have, we have a player coming in from um, in, in Washington, mm -hmm. African youth, so we're picking him up tonight. So we see how he stays in training this week and try and strengthen the team as best we can. And he's got a goal scorer? Yeah, he's a flank player. Very good player. You feel can him hope. can really? Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Can fit in at the team. We are, we are playing 4-4-2. Mm -hmm. And you know my system is a 4-3-3, but I didn't have that clinical winger yet to switch back to the 4-3-3. So I, I, I look at that when I come back, you know. But the team will get stronger. And we just have to try and let the players them know say it's not the end of the road tonight. They are very upset too, you know. But so it goes, so football goes. I tell them I don't want to feel them way after games. <laughs> so they have to work on that part of the game. You know, feel happy after a game. You know, so we just have to continue. Respect each other. Yeah, yeah. All right, there you go, people. It is full time. It is uh, Dumbby Hole in zero. On it garden one. On it garden snatch it. Literally pick Dumbby Hole in pocket. I do believe that Dumbo Olin played the better football throughout the 90 minutes. They created a lot of chances, but because of Asha Hutchinson between the six, who are very, very mean, extremely good um, tonight. Um, man of the match, as you can see, we just heard from him. You can hear what the coach was saying as well. Um, Leonard Hyde, quite pretty much disappointed in how the game panned out. Um, uh, Xavier is quite happy, <laughs> despite the team didn't perform as though it wanted to. They still got the, the, the vital goal uh, and then take, and take the three points. Which is, in football, it doesn't matter how good you play, you have to put the ball in the back of the net. You could pass the ball 5,000, 6,000 um, passes per game. Once you don't put the ball back in the net, it doesn't really matter. So it's very important that we get that out of the way. But overall, I think it was a good game of football. Um, Brilliant, brilliant matchup, I have to say. Very, very good game. One team possessing the ball, one team dominating the ball. The next team moving the ball in transition. And just how it is, Arnett Garden 1, don't be holding zero. You have to score goals if you want to win games. That's how it is. Big up on yourself, people. MG Sports TV are out. Boom.